What's good in Inglewood? Everything that's happening in Inglewood is always good in my opinion, but I want to first share. And that's what we love to hear, yes, making a difference one listener at a time, and that's what the radio segment is called, Good in Inglewood, and that's what this one is all about. And it's our pleasure right now to have this young woman here. It was started by Kennedy King College student Rashana Baldwin. We are so happy to have you in here right now to talk about you know, leading your community and doing so many wonderful things. Uh, good to see you this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not a student at King the King, but I, I, you know, go there and, you know, do great oh, things. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're part of the program yes. by doing your radio segment. Well, yes. tell me about this. You've started the segment Good in Inglewood. How and why did you come up with this? I am so tired of hearing about the negative in Inglewood. It's so much happening there. It's assets. We are doing great things in the community, but we don't get the positive coverage that we need. So I want to combat the negative with the positive because I think when you keep highlighting Light and negative is like poverty porn. You're giving a bad guy more PR press. What about highlighting the good in Inglewood? And what are the steps? What did you follow? I mean, you just took this on your own and said, I'm going to get on a radio station and make it happen. How does that come about? WKKC is through Kennedy King College and is right in my community. So I said, you know what, why not have that platform to do this segment to talk about the gardens, the organic gardens, um, Teamwork Inglewood, the nonprofit. All the positive things happening. All the positive that's happening in the community. And I just reached out to them and said, hey, can I do a segment on WKKC to highlight what no one else is talking about? Now, do you have a background in radio? I know you formerly interned here uh, at WFLD. Yes. What's your background in radio? My background in radio comes from WVON 1690 AM. I spent five years co-hosting a show called Impresario Radio. And then my uh, degree is also in journalism as well. So I did you know, radio and a little bit of TV as well. So I'm all over. I love it, a young entrepreneur. OK, again, we, we talk about it almost every weekend. Uh, you know, Just some violence going on out there, people being killed, bad things happening in the hood. For you, what's the reaction been now that you've kind of twisted this and you wanted to promote what's happening that's good? I look at those, the, the violence, as it's just concentrated areas in the community. It's not all over Inglewood. People will think if you watch the media, it's just nothing but negative there. But they don't highlight what's happening, for example, at D.S. Wentworth, where the principal, Dina Everidge, is asking the young men to come out and talk to the students for the month of May on Monday through Friday to spend time with them or talk about the organic garden, the Wood Street Farm, where we have a nice uh, wood farm. Um, Farm stem Wednesdays, we can have fresh fruit, veggies, or the resident association of Greater Inglewood, which is called Rage. I co founded it. Educating the youth, educating the residents, engaging them, bringing them together, making them be at the forefront of what's happening in our community. I love this. I love this. Uh, real quickly, we're, we're almost out of time. A woman who's just taken the world by storm here. What's next for you? Everything. I'm trying to take the world by storm. Um, maybe I'll have a show. Maybe that's why I got into journalism, to highlight the good things, to combat the negative with the positive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Roshana Baldwin, congratulations, continued success. You. Keep us posted on what you're doing. I will. Maybe we'll have you in for another segment. Of course.